Well, welcome to another tutorial. Today's lesson is a really easy one and it's just finger picking, so I'm sure that many of you beginners will enjoy this. It's a good chance to work on some of your chords as well and some quick picking. Now we've got a capo on the fourth fret and that means that every chord I'm teaching you will be relative to that. So the chords that you see on the screen, if I play an A minor here, it's actually the same as what would be a C sharp minor, but we're just putting a capo here. So now we're using A minor. That's one of our chords at least. So the first chord you need to know is a D minor. So we've got just the fourth to the first string, second fret of the third string, third fret of the second string, first fret of the first string. So that's our D minor. Then we'll go on to kind of like an E7, except we're not adding our index finger onto the first fret of the uh, third string there. It's actually going to go onto the first fret of the second string. So the, the notes that you need to play are six, five, four, and two. It's a bit of an interesting chord. It's an E7, but with an added 13th. So six, five, four, two. So that's first fret of the second string, and then the second fret of the fifth string. So when I'm playing that, I'd normally use my thumb for both the sixth and fifth because we're not playing them at the same time. Then the final chord you need to know is an A minor. And that's gonna have our middle finger and ring finger on the second fret of the third and fourth string, index finger on the first fret of the second string. And sometimes we'll add a variation where you see our pinky's already near that third fret of the second string. We're just gonna add that on. You don't need to take your index finger off. It can stay there because you're going to go back to it anyway. So I'll give you a quick demo on how the song goes first and then I'll show you how to play it. So it's pretty simple. We're starting on our D minor and we're going four, three, two, one. So slowly and a bit faster. And then we're gonna go onto our E7 sort of shape and we're going to go six, five, both with our thumb and then the fourth string with our index finger. And then we'll use our ring finger or you don't need to, but that's the easiest I find on the second string. So thumb, thumb, index, ring. So slowly. So, so far we've got D minor. E7. And you notice there that I'm not letting the strings ring out too much. So it's not like that. We go. It's like the next note coming is just a mute straight after that. So. So you don't need to slap. You're just really placing your palm over the strings so that they don't ring out. And then we're going to go to our A minor. So that's A minor shape, five, four, three, two. Mute again. And then this time, we're gonna add our pinky on for the A minor variant. So that's. So you see there, I'm muting when I add on my pinky and then let that regular A minor ring out. So slowly. And a bit faster. And now up to speed. And then we're going to repeat that same thing with a small variation at the ending. So this time we're not going to add our pinky on, we're just going to go five, four, three, two, and then pluck the four of them. Now when we're playing that A minor and we're plucking all of the strings, all we need to do is play the fifth, fourth, third, and second string together. So, so that whole thing together, I'll play through the whole two different variations.
Now that's really all that you need to know for the song. Sometimes we might change it up and go something like this. And what I'm doing there is just playing the bass note first and then the other three notes and muting quickly. The only other small variation you might want to add in is when we go you'll at the end go and then that'll lead back into an, a D minor. So it'll be third string, second fret and then pull off to the open third string then you'd go uh, fourth string, second fret and you're just pulling off there to the first fret of the fourth string and then that'll take us back into a D minor where you play the open fourth string. So it'll be like this. Then you're going to go and then back to your D minor. So you're going to go and then onto your E7 and then A minor like normal. So that's all you need to know for this tutorial. So please remember to subscribe if you've enjoyed this tutorial. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next one.